couple of weeks, Poseidon has had some technical issues. We've been here, uh, we started recording uh, live at the Bordel, like yeah. this, our, I think, fourth or fifth. S and the fifth. first two, uh, he only recorded the first nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah. then we'd ask him, how, to, how was it? Oh, it was good, it was good. <laughs> and then he, he, uh, he didn't check after yeah. the first one. So yeah, so that first week was a little weird, but then the second week, last week, was two amazing episodes. Okay. But people at home didn't see the best parts of them because he, he was having so much fun, he didn't realize that it wasn't recording. Fuck. And then Is it was crazy. Is he a government program? Like, we... Are we getting money because of him <laughs> we from should. the government? I think I could apply. Fuck. I'm basically a bird. Okay. You're recording now, right? Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. you say you're basically says, a bird? <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. Is, is oh, there fuck. any way that you can switch to an angle where we can see a full body shot of you and you come up here? Because I need to speak to everyone with you on stage. But I need a full <laughs> body shot. I need a full body okay, shot. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me check you which camera. You want people to see how he's dressed? Yeah, so okay. we can explain what he was doing today. <laughs> okay. So he looks like he went sailing. We're going to bring up our guest in a second. The reason why uh, Matthew and Josh aren't here is uh, there was a funeral today. Uh, someone close. It was actually Josh's father that passed away, so we were at the funeral. That's why he's not here today. Even though he okay. wanted to, we asked him not to be to take some time with his family. So we went to the funeral today. Are you uh, you're hitting record now? No, no, no. Okay. Poseidon okay. Uh, hasn't changed since the funeral. <laughs> and I am not joking. This is how he went to the funeral. And uh, maybe you can't see. Uh, like on cam, but he's not wearing pants. Those he's wearing shorts. Bermuda shorts. Uh, blue, uh, blue Nikes. It looked insane. Everyone was turning their heads. He he looked like he looks like a retired sailor. He looks. <laughs> this is imagine he shows up at your father's funeral like that. And this was in a in a in a synagogue. Yeah, it was a Jewish funeral, so he was okay. also trying to put the hat on, and it kept falling off. Oh, he's and putting the yarmulke on. Yeah, there was oh, a moment. Fuck. Because I didn't let him see. So what ended up happening is we, the, we arrived late. And wait a second. Uh, Poseidon, what did you call the yarmulke? <laughs> uh, the little hat. Okay. <laughs> was it the little hat or was it the little Jew hat? <laughs> ah! Was it the Jew ah, hat? The little, the, the, the little Jew hat, you know? Just went... Okay. So there was a moment where, because, you know, there's the pews. So I, we showed up late, so there's like a spot where there was a woman sitting on the edge, but the pew inside was empty, so she moved two spots for me to sit. And then I had space to move in so he can sit, but I didn't want him next to me because I didn't want people thinking we knew each other. So I stayed at the edge, and he tried to sit, and he's like, fuck, I don't fit. So now everyone in the place is sitting except for one guy who's standing, and it's him. Look at the way. Yeah. So everyone's turned their heads, and they see this. It looks like he was in the wrong room. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And then uh, I, I don't know why I have a really hard time at funerals. I always want to laugh. Oh, I laughed because I kept looking over and seeing him like that, and everyone was looking at him. So I, they thought the woman thought I was crying. I was emotional, but it's because I couldn't control my I, how ridiculous the situation was. So yeah. I was like this, like fucking shit, like that. And the woman was looking at me, she's like, "Oh, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine." But I wasn't crying. I was just laughing at how ridiculous it was for, because Josh is telling, he's talking about his father. He's saying a eulogy. Mm. He's and it's a fucking badass speech. Too. It was a good speech. So he's giving a speech, and he could see, I could see his eyes at the end. He's you know, his mind's like, why the fuck is he wearing shorts at my father's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm trying to hold it together, and I'm like this, just trying to hold in my laughter. Yeah. But then I, I keep seeing Pantelis trying to laugh, and then it's <laughs> making me laugh. And then I'm hearing him make Poseidon noise. Like, uh, uh. It's just wild. <laughs> and then it's a wild time, day. Every time I'm laughing, the, the, the keeper is falling off. Yeah, and then he's like, you think everyone's looking at me because the hat is falling off? It's like, no, they're looking at you because you look like a gay sailor. That's why they're looking at you. Yeah. So you're standing there wearing shorts with the hat falling off your head, yeah. giggling. Yeah. God damn. It's crazy. Fuck. I lived it. I was there. Yeah. I saw it live. <laughs> you know how Jewish people think that the, the soul sticks around for, I think it's a week? Okay. That means Josh's father saw this fucking buffoon <laughs> laughing. He, he's wearing his dress to go fucking yachting, and he's just giggling. <laughs> it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I, I upset my mom's side of the family one time <laughs> because uh, I went I went to uh, her funeral. She passed away, my aunt. And then the thing is, my mother's like, just show up. Just show up to the funeral. Pay your respects. And the thing is, I was wearing a tracksuit from head to toe. Okay. He shows up dressed like a Ukrainian mob boss. Yeah. And, 
And that day, for some reason, I didn't feel like wearing a shirt under the tracksuit. So shirtless? With a cross Sh- hanging out? with the cross hanging with out and my chest hang- hair. You look like you're selling drugs at the funeral. Basically. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they weren't too happy with that. And uh, at some point, one of my aunts started, like, crying, but, like, wailing, like, really, like, bad. <gasps> yeah, like, ah, ah, you know, like, and, and like, I, I don't deal well. You wanted to console her, and since your suit is made out of absorbent <laughs> cotton, <laughs> you're like, here. <laughs> No, I just don't deal well with tears. I don't know, okay. like I don't know how to react. With Stop people, crying with people crying. So I just, I just laughed really out loud. That's one way to deal with that situation. Yeah. <laughs> there was other venues you could have taken. Yeah, I think that probably works though, because then it changes the tears to anger. <laughs> like the lady is just like that fucking asshole, and he's like, I fixed her. <laughs> it was wild. I thought at one point when I was laughing and I was holding my face like this, I thought about my life. And I was like, who am I? Like, I'm, uh, it's like I'm leading yeah. a circus. How is this? Like, all the people around me, all these people, the Guido stuff we'll tell them about in a second. It's like, is, I live in a circus. This isn't mm. the real life I lead anymore. I think I died a long time ago. And this is, I'm paying for my sins right now. <laughs> You're in hell. So, okay, we've, we've briefed everyone on that. So now they know why we've changed things up for today. It is a sad day, but we're going to have fun on behalf of Josh and his father, who we knew and was a big Mike Ward fan, uh, Mark Shapiro. Mr. Uh, Sam Adamo is here as our guest today, comedian, podcaster. What's going on? Thank you for having me. Welcome, Sam. You're as neurotic as they come. And see, you didn't know someone died, and even you're better dressed than he is. (laughs) Someone told me never do stand-up or never go to a comedy club in shorts. You went to a funeral in shorts. (laughs) Yeah. I used to... I'm a I bold to, man. Besides a salmon, he swims upstream. I used to host a, a TV show on Music Plus, and sometimes I'd have comics on, and since we'd film during the summer, they'd show up wearing shorts and sandals, and I was like, what the fuck? Are you, like, this is going to be on TV. Like, Music Plus used to air, like, fucking 19 times a day for 11 years, so people are going to see you in February with your fat white legs... <laughs> You're going to so look stupid. retired. They were banking it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, this is what's funny about us doing it live now back at the Bordel. It's a new thing. We started, we did it during the pandemic. Remember we had the portion in the yeah. other room, we did it live. During that, there was the whole crisis with Guido, a comedian, Guido Grasso, a friend of ours, where he, he disappeared. He threatened to kill people, fans of the show. Uh, he sent a message on Instagram. Then he ended up in a crack house and they found him. So there's a whole backstory. The reason why didn't, I'm... Didn't he suck a, a transsexual's penis? Allegedly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But he said it was for weed. So here's the thing. Was it for weed or yeah, for crack? For weed. He said I was at the you crack house really, for weed. really... God damn. So he, he, he sucked dick for a drug that's legal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just go to the store. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere. So the reason why I'm briefing you guys and bringing this up is because we thought that Mike's days in court... We're over. <laughs> They're not. Because uh, Guido, we mention him a lot. He's come on our, my podcast. He's come on Two Drink Minimum. We deal with him a lot. He is in a heated custody battle. And they've gone with a low blow. They started bringing out transcripts of the podcast that he's been on with us and what we've said about him. And they're using it in court. So now there are... So po- just, they're just reading it? Like, they're not playing it? So there, it's- there's, I don't, there's a judge right now that's saying... And then Mike Ward said, What? You sucked a tranny's cock? <laughs> and then you said... So this is happening in court right now. He's fighting for custody while they're like, But here, Mike Ward, who is famous, said that you sucked a man's dick for crack. He's like, It was a joke! It was a. So, <laughs> so this, is, this is happening right now. And no one's defending him, right? No he's, one's. So he, his he lawyer. He doesn't have a lawyer? His lawyer. If you're sucking quit. dick for weed, you don't have a lawyer. Did, did like. <laughs> Did you right. see what happened? His lawyer quit after the podcast came okay. out. <laughs> after, after the people against him came up with a podcast, his lawyer said, yeah, I'm not fighting this, fuck that. So his lawyer left him. So then he showed up in court alone to defend himself. And Wait. apparently they're very mean. Like the, the other lawyer that's against him is a huge, huge, like she's very aggressive against him. She's good at her job. So she, yeah. yeah, she was apparently, he was sitting down and the judge walked in. And as soon as the judge walked in, she said in French, 
it smells like alcohol in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's fighting an up. Anyways, this is all to say, this our friend Guido's in trouble. Is this there a lawyer that wants to take him on out there? <laughs> Pro bono, I guess? For now. He's going to okay. pay you later, but not right now. But for real, any is fans... Is he going to pay you by sucking your dick? <laughs> He'll suck your dick. <laughs> or, <laughs> or it's going to be actual money. Because <laughs> if, if we don't find a fan that wants to help out, I'm going to have to go find a lawyer for him because it's a little unfair. Don't he, they have legal aid in Canada? Like, I, isn't I think it free if you're poor? Yeah, but I think... I don't know why he's not allowed to get... Oh, he told me that if he gets one, they're not going to fight for him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they're not going to fight for him. He gets a lawyer, the lawyer wouldn't fight for him. Not the lawyer would just stand up in court and say, hey, this other, this the other party bringing some pretty good yeah. points. There, but that yeah, she makes sense. It does <laughs> smell like alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Because the thing is, and he's right, if you're not getting paid, it's a lot of work to be like, God damn it, there's hours of podcasts <laughs> where he's talking about smoke and crack. <laughs> but they, they, if I was his lawyer or, or whatever shitty lawyer, you go, look, it's all, it's just, it's theater. Mm. He's, he's in a show called The Intellectuals. Yeah. He's clearly not an intellectual. <laughs> It's all just make believe, and they're, yeah. they're pretending. Do you think this other guy would actually wear shorts to a funeral? <laughs> it's all fake. Poseidon, honestly, the way you dressed today was like an act of rebellion against the Israeli government. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had the cross out too. Yeah. Yeah. You look like a you look like a, a Neapolitan teenager. <laughs> you ever watch Gomorrah? They're all all the fucking all the twelve year olds in Naples are all like just they're yeah. all built like him. Wearing Air Force One's shorts and just a massive belly and a beard. You look <laughs> like a young French kid in an old movie from France. Yeah, you look like you're from Marseille. Yeah, yeah, you look like... But just, you know, like a marseille kid just on the street to fucking you are harass a, women. You are a but young at a funeral. Gerard Depardieu. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> you're a Remember young it? Gerard Depardieu, oh, but you're more dangerous than an old Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Is that like the French? He's an actor. Like I know, I know. But I, he's uh, infamous uh, for some stuff. Is that like the French Bill Cosby? Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, so out of the loop. Yeah, he's not. I, uh, he didn't rape. I think he, he did. He? did. I think he did. Did he rape? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, he raped. Oh, I said, oh, yeah. Like, so it was like a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're very Richard Depardieu. Ah, but, yeah. but, 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 but don't say that. I'm not a rapist. <laughs> I remember, remember in the 80s when Gerard Depardieu, they tried to make him into an American movie star? He did a couple of movies. He did one with uh, Whoopi Goldberg. And, and they tried to make him into... Sexy? Yes, yeah, sexy, but he's a fucking 380-pound alcoholic with a nose like this wide. He looks like he, he smells uh, the way... Uh, Guido's lawyer sh said, said that he, he <laughs> smells, yeah. Yeah, he looks like he was in the river. He was just swollen. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. yeah he, looks like, he looks like a handsome man that drowned. <laughs> like, That's even his clothes is all fuck. He's, he's, uh, I think one time he... he I, I forget if he uh, uh, took a shit in an airplane. Yeah. Yeah, like he, he did? Said, yeah, yeah. How does everyone know where this guy shits? Because he, he, I guess it, it's, if you're a 380 pound man, you have big shits. <laughs> and, he's a, and he's a Frenchman too. Mm. Mais non quoi, je sais partout. Yeah. A big, creamy, fucking buttery shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're ruining my life. So, for real, write to us if you're watching this. If uh, you're a lawyer. If you're a lawyer, a family lawyer, because there was a criminal lawyer that wanted to help him. But he's like, this is family lawyer shit. I think he'll eventually need a criminal lawyer, though. <laughs> if, if they air enough episodes of the podcast. That sounds like a cop-out. Yeah, you're a criminal lawyer. Uh, this is probably more of a family matter. Yeah. Not gonna, I forgot. A nice way to not I, touch that case. I forgot the funniest part about all this was, oh, fuck. Because they're using everything in court, that even if he didn't say it, if we said it. So when we talked about him uh, having phone sex in the car... Okay. Oh, that's a that's a court thing. Apparently, that's a court matter. <laughs> when when he was uh, to just to remind people, he was um, he was in his car uh, and he backed up onto a snowbank, and uh, he was, so he was stuck in the snowbank, but he kept on having uh, video phone, phone sex. sex. Oh, it's a video <laughs> phone sex too. So he's jerking off on a snowbank, and then he ran out of gas. 
So he walked to the gas station to get gas, and he did this seven times. Yeah, because he kept running out of gas because he was just talking, but he was just hanging. There was, you needed help. So he was wasting his gas because he had to jerk off while talking to the lady. Uh, so now there's a judge that's going through this. Jesus. You guys I really aren't helping him because yeah. in short order, they're going to be going over this exact yeah. conversation <laughs> too and talking about you how he did that exact thing. Well, here's what I'm going to say. Guido has never smoked crack. His penis doesn't work, so he cannot masturbate in the car. But, you know, here's the thing, though. Uh, how can you have phone sex and go to the, the gas station seven times? Doesn't someone eventually come, usually? And you're fucking bad at phone sex. If you can't get the chick to come once in, like, four... <laughs> how long does it take to run out of gas? It takes, like, six hours. Well, me and Poseidon, we found out was I was woken up, what was it, five, six in the morning? Ding, ding. I get a notification. We have a group chat, and it was a picture of my studio door. And I'm like, "Why'd you go back to the studio?" He's like, "I'm still here." And then he, that's how I found out the story because I couldn't leave. I got stuck while I was jerking off, and then I had a whole story. Whew. <laughs> this yeah. judge is gonna have a fucking yeah. field day, bro. This is gonna be crazy. And it was. It Imagine was playing videos because he told me today. He goes, "They also have a USB." <laughs> no. <laughs> They're gonna play this in court. Honestly, uh, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. They'll play us. Uh, they'll play episodes of us in in court. They that have a USB true, of files of the Pantelis podcast. Yeah, yeah. And and, and two drink minimum and intellectuals and anything he's ever been on. We've gone. We've reached the next level. This is it. This is how you know that our judicial system sucks. They sit around watching our podcast all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. You're enjoying this so much, dude. It's look so up. stupid. <laughs> I told you. I face. feel like I died. This is this is so stupid. It's oh, so stupid. You know what you should do is uh, start like a GoFundMe for him to, to pay for a lawyer. Yeah. And uh, once you give money, you get the address and the time to, to go see him in court. Because that's probably fucking entertaining to, <laughs> to just go through that. Like you fucking bring a, a little, you, you put liquor in a coffee mug. <laughs> Me laughing at our jokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just Mike making fun of him on the video. I'm like, that was a good one. Was a <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. That was good. <laughs> You're going to be hearing your own podcast read out in court. You're going to go, ah, that, that, that's me. <laughs> but you got him. It's funny because we had done during the pandemic the two drink minimum episode on the other side. Remember he came out of the mental hospital? Yeah. Because yeah. of you. So this is how bad the mental hospitals are here. They weren't supposed to let him out. And he told the guy, uh, I have to go do a podcast tonight. And the guy's like, shut up. He's like, no, for real, with Mike Ward, two drink minimum. And the guy's like, I love Mike Ward. He's like, all right, but you have to come back tomorrow. So he let him come out of, the, out of the mental hospital to come watch our show here. And then he came with a hat, I remember, and he was telling us live. He's like, the guy let me out because he likes Mike. Why was he wearing a hat? He was in disguise. He was wearing a hat. Yeah, he was in disguise. But we recognized him right away. <laughs> but it only covers your head. Yeah. I can still see your face. Right. I oh. think, you know what the moral of the story is? I don't think Guido should be doing podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, for his, for his, uh, his own but, good. But to lose custody of seeing your kid because of Mike Ward and Pantelis and their jokes is kind of stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, though. <laughs> like, no, but for real, I, I hope he gets his shit together. Yeah. But uh, if if you lose custody of your kid because of a podcast, things aren't going that good. Yeah. Yeah. We're, you think we're just the cherry on top? Mm. We're the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're what you see. Yeah. I love that you guys are saying that it's because of you guys and not because of any of his actual behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, yeah. <laughs> any of the things he's done in his life over the last three yeah. years. Yeah, you're right, though. It is because of his yeah. behavior. Talking about how he's fucking he's getting like, out of a mental hospital to go listen to a podcast. Yeah. I don't know that, you know, he's lived the cleanest life over yeah. the past couple of years. He's going to be, yeah, in his apartment doing push-ups Going, those fucking bastards ruined my life. If they didn't tell people I was smoking crack <laughs> and sucking dick, I would have gotten away with it. I'm a good father. That's what he was telling me today. He loves his son. I believe yeah, him. I believe him. Yeah, I believe yeah, him no. when he says it. I'm pulling for Guido. No, no. Now, I'm here's the problem. I'm on Team Guido. But what if the judge is like, you know what, Mike Ward and Pantelis, they seem reasonable. All right, you can see your kid. And then he kidnaps that kid. Then are we fucked? Listen, I mean, yeah. oh, I can't you, wait to see there's a, if the there's name an Amber Alert. Guido Grasso <laughs> on my Amber Alert. If there's an Amber we're fucked. Yeah. The man was last seen jerking off in a Honda Accord. 
<laughs> well, it, it, it wouldn't be... Yeah, that wouldn't be the only thing I would worry about if I were you, you know, in terms of who you associate with and maybe getting in trouble. Like, Me? Yeah, I mean, you replace Guido on the intellectuals pod with another guy who's got maybe an even dicier... Listen, are you talking about Adam? ...criminal background. Yeah. I Adam? Mean, okay. I think he's going to land you in deeper water, I think, at some point. Adam is an artiste. Do people know who Adam is? Yeah. For pod, for, uh, yeah. for the ones who know, no. It's hard to describe him if you don't know who he is. So those that don't know him, he's a, uh, I, I guess... It we think he might be a closeted pedophile. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Well, hold, uh, on. hold on, hold on. Hold wait, on. wait, wait. I think he's a closeted pedophile. No one said anything about a closet. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't seem like he a pederast. He does have pedophile vibes. He, here's so. the thing. He looks oh, like yeah. a pedophile 100%. He looks like one, but I don't feel like kids are in danger, especially because his job was driving kids from, to school. It was. Uh, Was it? So, so he'd drive him to it school? It still is. He's off for the summer. He'd drive him from school to his house? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think he touches kids, but he's a, he has repressed homosexual stuff that he just doesn't want to... He thinks we're in the 1950s, yeah. I think, and people like, are Like priests, by the way. That's yeah. why yeah. I'm yeah, deeply I concerned. Get, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. It only goes one way. Oh, fuck. If all he has access to are the kids that he works with, you know? Oh. So I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I think that'll be a fun one for you. But when uh, there's hours of podcasts of because the thing pa Pantelis is, and Poseidon trying to get him. No, but hang on, you guys have been trying to get him to admit his sexual proclivities on a podcast. We have, yeah. So if he ever, you know, comes out and does something nefarious, I'm gonna get blamed for it. Well, I'm not saying you'll get blamed for it, but there's gonna be a lot of hours. But of he, you he, guys, literally there's a lot of hours of <laughs> Literally on a pod we did like two months ago with him, we were telling him, Adam, sexual liberation, do what you want. Yeah, with other adults. Yeah, but we didn't specify that. Who knows what he heard? That's no, actually, I'm... Poseidon... No, there's a oh, clip of Poseidon screaming. Imagine if he tells the cops, they said it's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a clip of Poseidon screaming at one point, and he's like, if ever, Adam, I find out you have kitty porn or anything like that, I'm going to fucking kill you with my bare hands. And he's screaming. That's a good clip. Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. that might be the clip that saves your life, actually. Because well, he kept bringing up, we, we do this top five and a half list on the intellectuals, <laughs> and it goes like, oh, like stuff you could get fished in. Like, like you could get tricked into. Yeah, you could get tricked into. And one of his things that, that he brought up like five times <laughs> was, was kitty porn. Was kitty yeah. porn on your hard drive? How can <laughs> you get tricked into have kitty, yeah. having kitty That's porn? That's what Poseidon said. Yeah. He's like, wait, wait, hold on. I don't think you understand the question. How do you get tricked into it? He's like, you yeah, know, these hackers. Wait, is that true? <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> So Dude, we literally on a podcast one month ago, <laughs> shanted around like the Wolf of Wall Street, trying to get him to admit, <laughs> we like to fuck. We like to so fuck. Then, so then I was telling him, no, I that's go, that's out there. That's I'm fucking uh, telling him to <laughs> fuck. And, and he, Look, if anything, what, what, dude? If anything, we help the detectives out. I mean, yeah. yeah by pushing know. him to commit crimes in no, the first no, no, place. No, 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 no. By doing, you know, trying to get it out of him, you know? He can't touch kids, though. He's just me. Uh, uh, um... A paraplegic can push him over. He's not physically <laughs> dangerous. He's not physically dangerous at all. Don't worry about that. Yeah, no, no, However, no. he does lead a weird... I, I'm glad he brought this up. I wanted to tell you this because you haven't heard this and I know you're going to get as angry as I did. Does he still live in his basement uh, slash garage thing? He, it's a boiler room. Okay. Don't judge him. I thought he had a roommate. He has a roommate in a boiler room. <laughs> oh, my God. It's disgusting. However... The plot thickens. Uh, I, I'm thinking of Mike because Mike thinks of things the way I think about them, so you're going to lose your <laughs> fucking mind. So he used to love taking uh, flights, but he's not going to pay for flights. So he used to enter every contest to win free tickets somewhere. So one time he won a free flight from Toronto to Montreal. Okay. So he had to drive to Montreal? He had to get to Toronto. Oh, uh, yeah. He had so, to drive to Toronto. So right. he hitchhiked. Oh, what a dumb And he met different men. And he hitchhiked to Cornwall, and then you, you were there for this. And he hitchhiked yeah. from there to another place, and then finally to the airport in Toronto to get the flight to go to Montreal. And the whole time he's telling this story, me, him, and everyone were just shaking. And I think it was Poseidon that started screaming, or me, I came and like, but you were already in Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you suck strangers' cocks to get to an airport to then fly back to Montreal? It doesn't make any sense. But You're already here. What, was he sucking cocks for the rides? We don't know. We suspect he might have. It might have been a way to live with the cognitive dissonance. Well, you know, <laughs> well, I want to suck dicks, but I have no reason to. But hey, if I'm trying to get to a different city, I'll suck my way there, and then it's, it's acceptable, maybe. <laughs> Those men are very hard up. Like, to, because I've, I've seen Adam, 
I would, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gay, but even if I was gay, I wouldn't want that weird little head close to my cock. Yeah, like, but if you're a truck driver, long yeah. hours on the road, you know, you want to, you know, blow a load or whatever. You've been carrying loads all day. His dad yeah. was a truck driver. He murdered a hooker in Arizona, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. He comes from allegedly. a long line of <laughs> guys hanging around truck stops doing weird shit. Yeah, he knows the truck stops. There's okay. actually... Uh, it's in his blood. There's actually a route in southern United States that goes from east to west coast and vice versa. And uh, it's not... It goes from east to west and vice versa. Oh, really? Oh, oh, I was only so go one way. You never come back. Just one way. <laughs> God damn, I hope I win a flight back. <laughs> and it's actually notorious, that, that route, I forgot the name of the route, it's actually notorious for uh, a lot of killings, a lot of women going missing, like lot lizards, uh, people being kidnapped and shit like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I, I, don't think, I don't think you said anything. I realized as I was talking, I'm like, this I'm might, incriminating yeah. my father, yeah. I got to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> His so father. you know about this route because your dad? Sorry? Uh, you know this route? Because no, of your dad? No, I saw it on a, like a YouTube mini uh, documentary or whatever. Okay. Or like on TikTok. It was multiple parts. Okay. So you found this out on TikTok. Yeah. All right. And, uh, Wait, and your father is the one who used to drive trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was Adam's father. I thought that made okay. more no, sense. No, Adam's father owned a corporation that Adam ran into the ground. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did they sell? What uh, fueled the like business? Satellite dish, like some, some high tech shit chips. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, there were a uh, chip production or whatever. Not not like Doritos. No, like no, we, they know they're not they're yeah. not Adam. They yeah. understand. <laughs> they get it. They, and then this is the thing. He goes uh, sometimes. I like to take trips. So he had a car, and he's like, I was going to New York State, and then I ran out of gas at a at a rest area, which nothing. So he oh, so he just so then he met other rest areas. He met other people, but then this is the ah. thing. He's like, then I needed a way out, so he'd leave with other people go, and he would leave his car at a rest area in New York, and then have to find his way back to Montrose. But why did you leave your car? He lives, like, it's GT, it's gay yeah. GTA. He just takes a car, drives somewhere, fucks dudes, and then gets a is ride back. Is his mom homophobic? Like, who in his family is homophobic? Is his, uh, his dad's dead, right? Yeah, his dad's dead. So, so like, why is he still in the closet? Uh, that's what we're always trying to figure out. Like, who cares? He, he, couldn't, he couldn't break through. It's too weak. No, no, honestly, because I'm like, none of us actually give a shit. Just yeah, do yeah. you. We'll support you. We'll send you to a fucking parade. You'd rather have a, f a guy, that a friend that is gay than a friend that you think might be a pedophile, right? <laughs> that, that's way better. Well, the real fear is that he's yeah. both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a fear. That's, yeah. that's a fear. Yeah, that might be the thing, though. If he admits, he might be like, if I admit that I'm gay, I might be too excited and <laughs> say everything. <Yeah. laughs> There's no telling. <laughs> Look, I kept saying it was a rest area. It was a child's daycare. Oh, God. <laughs> you never know. So this is my real life right now. This is the life I lead. God damn. You pick who you hang out with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Got you me. recruited both of these people. I I'm a magnet for To this. the podcast. I'm a magnet. They came to me. I didn't know Adam. I didn't grow up with him. He's Guido's friend. They went to high school together. That explains a lot. It does, yeah. <laughs> that checks out. Yeah, in retrospect, that makes perfect sense. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Is that statement admissible in court? <laughs> These are his friends. Could you imagine in court, dude? They're going to be showing Adam, too? Oh. Adam I hope he shows up to be a character witness. Because <laughs> they, like, I, I'm surprised that uh, Guido didn't ask, like, like, either you to testify for him, or probably he knows that, that you'd <laughs> fuck him over. But <laughs> uh, I wouldn't fuck him over and be like, Your Honor, are you telling me that this man... Don't point at me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> This, admit, this imaginary this figure man who's not here. who works hard. Sure, he smokes crack once in a while, but he works hard. Maybe he sucked a dick or two in a crack house. Who hasn't? Who amongst you has never sucked dick in a crack? You think you, he doesn't want me to do that? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I think he doesn't want you to do that. <laughs> bro, I'll, would, I'll take the stand for Guido. I don't give a I'll shit. I'll lie. Stand. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> my hand on the Bible. I'm Italian, bro. I'll lie, my, I'll lie through my fucking teeth. Yeah. Well, well, well now you can't <laughs> anymore. But I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to lie... For, like, the good of a... Like, I wouldn't be able to lie if a kid's in danger. Do you really think he's in danger? No, that's why. Then I'd lie. I'd be like, he's a great dad. Yeah. He's he loves dad. his son. Loves his son. Doesn't do drugs. Well, I don't think he does drugs. I think he's willing to subject to drug testing. It's, it's the fact that... He doesn't do drugs anymore. No, I think he really wants to change his life around. It's the fact that he goes on podcasts and talks about all the shit he has done. That might fuck him that, over. That's... <laughs> 
<laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I think because he sent me like a million messages at some point, but like I couldn't read them all. And uh, like apparently they kept trying to do like drug tests on him, but he refused. Yeah, it's a bad look. It's never a good look. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because you also the way he screams, plus he lost his teeth again. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, Mike doesn't misplaced. know. Misplaced. No. So it doesn't look good if you show up in court. No, no teeth. teeth. You're like, I'll, I'll do drug. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a drug test. He looks incriminating. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's very incriminating. <laughs> How many dicks did he suck to lose all his teeth? <laughs> That's a lot of cocks. I'm gonna. That you, would actually be a great time to start now that he has no teeth. Yeah. You can have yeah. a prolific career. Yeah. You get tons of drugs now. Yeah. But Guido's the sweetest guy. Well, I said this before on air. Um, one time we were doing a show and he had a jacket. And it, it, like, it was a, like from the 80s members only jacket. And I go, hey, that's a cool jacket. And then he bought me the jacket. Like he was like, here, I bought you a jacket. And he was like, I think you're medium, right? And I was like, yeah, when I was fucking nine. But, <laughs> and so it didn't fit. So then he bought me another jacket. So he bought me two fucking jackets yeah. that I never wore. <laughs> but all this to say for the lawyer and judge listening, he's very thoughtful. Very he thoughtful. buys things for people he loves. You know who he loves? His kid. <laughs> he's got a heart of gold. Yeah, it's yeah. just in the execution that he has a hard time he just, through. He's just, he's a buffoon. He just yeah. stumbles. That's all it is. Yeah. He's goofy, but he's not dangerous. Yeah. He well, knows how to make a pizza. Very good pizza. Very good pizza. He on does Mount, know how to make a pizza. On Mount Royal and Saint Laurent. He knows how to tell jokes. He knows how to take jokes. You could make fun of him all day. Yeah, yeah. He'll take it and laugh. I mean, yeah. Thoughts and prayers. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't bode very well right now. Yeah. He has no teeth and he's going to court. Yeah, you can't go to court with no teeth. That's not good. I know we already addressed that, but we got to unpack it. Like, no one who goes to court with no teeth in the front is getting their kid. Yeah, even if you go for a parking mm. ticket, you're going to jail if you show up with no teeth. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, he did it. Whatever. You know? <laughs> I don't know what we're accusing this guy of, but yeah. throw him in jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Yeah, fuck. So this is the he Mike is Ward so Extended fucked. Universe. He is so fucked. You ever thought when you started <laughs> Susan Good fucking 14 years ago that they'd be playing in court, your voice talking about dudes sucking dick for crack? Uh, it was a it was a <laughs> wish. It was a, it was a dream I had and it came came true. <laughs> it took an Italian man yeah. to make it come true. Fuck. Whew. All right. So Sam, how you doing? I'm good. No, I just I can't believe how many people whose careers you've like just thrown into the fucking mud. First uh, first Guido getting his kid taken away. That wasn't us. Yeah. That wasn't me. Then going on Rogan and getting him to say the N-word and getting him <laughs> almost fucking canceled. That was my fault, man. Yeah. yeah. But he wasn't canceled. He, uh, he made something out of it. He went on, uh, I think he, he went on to write jokes about it in his special. It was very funny. Yeah. I, had a, I spared a thought for you guys when I heard that joke. I was like, oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> He's talking about when he got canceled for saying the N-word. That's just, our fault, the N-word. That watershed moment. Did he use the N-word when we were there? I did. Repeatedly. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I have no idea why people keep saying that. I don't think we even no, use no. the N-word. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Uh, we talk why would we go on Rogan and use the N-word? Because we felt we're comfortable like, being yeah. ourselves. Yeah, we're like so here's the 10 thing. million people. No, no, I think like use the N-word. we talked about, you talked about Freddie Mercury. It was an okay. AIDS joke. Yeah. We, I don't know why. Yeah, we didn't say the N-word. I don't know why. No, I don't think you did. I think he did, and the episode got taken down as a result. It was like oh, I can't remember. slew he of may episodes have. that he uh, Oh, I bring it out in people. Yeah. God damn. When they see me, they're like, finally, a real black guy I can say this in front of. That's what happens. Preach does the same thing to mm -hmm. me. He's always dropping the N-bomb around me. It is what it is, whiteies. <laughs> and he drops it by saying, stop using. <laughs> 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 it is funny that Rogan. Uh, did you see Rogan's special? Yeah, I did. Yeah. No, What'd I, you think? I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, you no, know. no, but, but pretend that you're not being recorded. No, I mean, it's just any time you watch Stand... <laughs> Any, anytime you, he got me a couple times. I laughed like a couple times. Yeah, you know, it got me to crack. Look, it's impossible to fucking watch. Not to talk about how the sausage is made, but yeah. like when you try to do stand up, if you watch it, you just kind of, I don't know, like wheels are turning. It's hard to get like taken on the journey. But I don't know. There were a couple times he tricked me in. I, I guess. like the way he said that. That mm. makes sense. Yeah. I thought it was well done. You know, he gets a hard time because he's just very popular. You know. We are hard on him because he's popular. We as a society, not me. Right, yeah. Well, he's more famous, he, he's more famous for shit outside of stand-up than just from stand-up. It's weird all the comments from his fans, even his fans shit on him when, when, they, when they talk about his stand-up. They're like, he's the best, best, best podcaster, shitty comic, 
but I enjoyed it. And you're like, why are you writing shitty comic if you enjoyed it? Like, but shouldn't you just write, like, do a thumbs up or just shut I the like fuck it. up? Yeah. But that's what happens when you get too big. Like, even artists in Quebec here, it happens. You get too big, people attack you, like that Phil Bond guy. Like, you get too big, and then people stop liking yeah. you. It's crazy. <laughs> he did sex stuff. That's why. He, yeah, yeah. I was making fun. He was like Cosby, on. but without the sleeping pills. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what he did? I thought <laughs> no, he just no. refused no, to open no, That's impressive, like, actually, no, if he was able to do it without yeah, the help of pharmaceutical His thing, drugs. there were no rapes. Yeah, there were no, it was just like, I want to get out of the car, and he was like, the fuck you will, that oh. kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blissfully unaware of, like, most Quebec pop culture. I find, so out, I'm just, yeah. I find out through the periphery, so it's yeah. fun for me, because I don't even know what he looks like. No, it's great. He may not even exist. I don't, <laughs> I have no clue who he is. Yeah. That's, that's what I know. That's my knowledge of what's going on here with uh, uh, sexual aggression. Did you guys watch Old Dads from... Um, wh- the movie that came out 17 years <laughs> ago? No, no, no. The one with... Uh, what's yeah, with uh, Bill Burr. It yeah, came Bill out Burr. like uh, eight months ago. Yeah, eight months ago. Yeah, I just yeah. watched it. Okay. Yeah, what did you guys think? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing. <laughs> what did you, you guys... Uh, <laughs> did you guys watch baseball last year? You know the Padres? I watched them. They were good. They hit the ball. That was so weird. What was that? Like a, I, I don't know. I don't know. I was, just, that was, I, was, I, was, I was looking to bring something up. Yeah. And like, that's the most recent you, you, you thought something the topical. Like, yeah. Yeah. The most recent thing is you watched a movie from a year ago? Yeah. You've done nothing since. <laughs> what? I know, I you watched. went to a funeral dressed like a gay pirate and you've done nothing your time? Are you joking? You yeah. spent a month in Italy, and we haven't really talked about you in Italy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's sure. talked about it. Has that just been burning in the back of your head for the last seven months, like, looking for an optimal time to bring that up? <laughs> he's that? like, you're just on a boat talking. in Italy, like, like one day, fuck, fuck, soon. <laughs> I'll ask them about old dads. So tell us, did you like the movie? Tell I, everyone. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was an okay movie. I just, I, I found it weird that, like, the, the, the Mike character, like, he had a vasectomy. What are you talking movie? about, dude? No one knows who the Mike character is. <laughs> Who's the Mike character? Tell me I the actor's name. I don't know. I don't <laughs> watched a show last night. I don't remember what the fucking character's the, name is. The Mike are. character who was uh, yelling at a handicapped child. Uh, you, it, it was this movie. It was the Mike character. Because that's a type of movie. The uh, It's Bill Burr <laughs> yeah. with uh, the Italian guy. I forget what his name is. He's a really good actor. Yeah, uh, Maniscalco. No, he uh, wasn't in that, but no, it's not Maniscalco. It's uh, anyway. I know what you're saying. You're saying you don't yeah. remember them based on the yeah, names yeah. of the characters. You're just going. So Bill Burr's fucking guy comes yeah. on screen, and uh, it's Bill Burr and the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who Mike is. Who's Mike? Is Mike Bill Burr? <laughs> you Google. <laughs> this you, is what you, you don't see? even remember. I think he just Googled is Mike Bill Burr. <laughs> no, no, uh, Bobby. Bobby, you're talking about Bobby. Bobby. Kinda- Bobby Cannavale. Cannavale, yeah. Yeah, I like that guy. That, he's a fucking good actor. Yeah, I then, like that then guy. Then you got Bokeem Woodbine. Oh, that's a cool name. Yeah, yeah, that is so uh, he, his full he's name. The, he's he's uh, the, uh, the black dude playing the Mike character. Okay, and so Mike is the black dude. Yeah, and, and the thing oh. is, he gets a girlfriend, right? And, but, and, and then, I'm sure when you said when Mike said, you were thinking, don't say the black guy. Don't say the black guy. So <laughs> <laughs> the, the, when the black guy. So says, so he, he, dude, they were saying his name during the movie, and I probably wasn't even registering it. I was just like, oh yeah, there's the black guy on screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and and his girlfriend gets pregnant, but like they, he had a vasectomy, and then they just don't address it the entire movie. I don't know. I found that like it bothered me. I think they did address it. Yeah, no, that, that's why he just was shocked. Said, they just said he has super sperm, and that's it. Like, they, no, no paternity test, no nothing. I was like, you watch. I love how that's exactly what I'm afraid every black guy has. It's just like super sperm that's willing, <laughs> that's able to, so to swim on. through a vasectomy. I get, I, I get the joke. It just, it, it still bothered me, you know? So like, it's been seven it's, months it's horrible. that this has been eating away at you. No, I watched it like two, uh, like uh, three nights ago. So three nights ago, you've just been sitting there. You're like, oh, it just bothers me. Like, even with a vasectomy. These black guys can reproduce. <laughs> it's just this. I don't like it. No. I don't fucking like it. 
That's crazy. That's what bothered you? It bothered me about the movie, and I, I had no opportunity to bring what it up. What if it was a white guy that had kids after a second? It would still bother me. Okay. So what's bugging you? No, what's bugging me is that what if, what if the broad cheated? You know what I mean? And like they're not addressing it in the movie. Dude, how furious would you be if you were like a cuckold and you let your wife like fuck a black guy and you thought, eh, he has a vasectomy, no problem, and she gets pregnant and the kid just comes out black? I do, I'm joining the KKK, bro. <laughs> Yeah, what? and see, he didn't. He didn't even hear what you said. He was just gonna say that anyway. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> He's like, finally, I can say that. I've been waiting six months to talk about old dads. Four months to talk about my new group, my group of friends. I love the way his brain works. He's like, she chilling with a black guy. You know who's gonna pay for this? Every black guy. <laughs> He's like, that's how it works. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what's fucked up? I had one time, like the KKK, we always think it's just a, a Southern American thing. I had one time a guy in Montreal give me a flyer on the street. I was like, was it guy? KKK? Yeah, and then I looked and it was a KKK thing. And I was like, what the fuck? How was he selling it? We got a goofy hat. No, he was like, I, 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 I don't even know what he said because I always go, I, I don't, like, you could, you could, Give you money in a pack. Yeah, it could yeah. be like, here's five million dollars, and I'd be like, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> you fucking asshole. So I just, I took his thing and I was going to throw it out, and then I looked, and I was like, there was a cross, and whenever there's a cross on like, fire, like it, no, but it, it, it looked religious, but it was a little short and a little German, so oh. I was like. Well, what the fuck? So I brought it home and Googled it. and uh, it I was, like how you're yeah. like, oh, I didn't know it was interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but then when I Googled it, it was, uh, it was uh, uh, like a front for the KKK or like kind of like, you know how biker gangs have their, their small like club école? Like, yeah. Oh, that's so, what it was? So it was like, a, 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 like, a, like a, an affiliate of the KKK. Club like, 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 a, like a football academy. Yeah. yeah. Like the U12s and the U14s just building little... Little, little KKK. future, future, little future Hitlers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. crazy. Yeah. Okay, it's a yeah. far more sophisticated organization than I yeah. thought. Yeah. Okay. There's opportunities for you. <laughs> what was their pitch, or what was his pitch to you when he gave it to you on the street? Was it he was just, just uh, he was giving flyers to anyone that was. Okay. White. Well, he didn't look yeah. at you and say, "Yeah, he has a face yeah. like he would yeah. want to hear well, what I have to say." What's he gonna say in the street? Do you hate basketball? Like, what's he gonna say? <laughs> yeah. do, do you guys? What's a what's a pitch that's not gonna get you beat up? Yeah. Like, what do you say? Do you guys think he was just hired and he didn't know the gig, and then he's like, ah, oh, fuck, I can. No, like all. they paid a guy. He gives a baffle. He's like, okay, yeah. and then he gets beat up an hour later. The, the <laughs> only way you could get hired to do that, if you're not racist, is if you don't know how to read. Like you'd have to. Mm. Like, Adam would have, do it. You know, I was gonna say that sounds like a thing Adam, that Adam. That's would get an Adam job. Into. He would never even look. He'd just be like, here you go, join our club. Here you, you go. You, you, <laughs> you have to get a guy that's running like a temp agency. And you go, look, when the guy comes in to fill in the form, if he seems nervous and he asks someone else to fill it in, give him these flyers. <laughs> like, that's the guy I want. That's what you want for the, when you're the KKK, having Adam, a Jewish pedophile, giving... He's not Jew Jewish. He just he's looks Jewish. Jewish. I was sure he was Jewish. Me too. He looks very he, Jewish. He said he's Czech from the Czech Republic. Okay. Or now it's Czechia. Yeah. They keep changing it, right? Yeah, no, I can see why you would think that too. It sounds kind of Jewish too, but it really just sounds gay when you think about it. <laughs> you hear Adam speak. Yeah, if you hear him speak, every trip he goes, he meets uh, a wild man at night that drives him to the airport. <laughs> every fucking story ends with that. It's the I'm like, well, how are these different people? Yeah, they all have nice accents, and they just, just want to spend time with me. He just wants to spend time with me. It doesn't make sense. Dudes, we don't see a random guy in the middle of the at a bar. And I'm saying this, uh, I want to be respectful. He seems like... Um, like Retarded. No, but like <laughs> he doesn't seem clean. Like I wouldn't... Like if I was gay, I, like I, he looks No, smelly. he's dirty. He's dirty. Yeah. We've, we've known this. Poseidon has confirmed. <clears throat> yeah. He's, uh, he's had shit stains on his pants. <laughs> On the outside of on his pants? On the outside, on the outside. How do you get... That, that means the guy you were with had shit on your pants, I don't think pants, it was sex-related. Right? That's the best part. Yeah, I think How can just you have him. shit stains on the outside of your pants? No, but like, I guess it went through or whatever. I, what? Or he's like not wearing underwear. Through, like he went commando. Through. It was even worse. Yeah, he went commando once and he was shit himself. It was weird. It was crazy. And then there crazy. was that one incident at the bathroom at the studio. Okay. He destroyed the bathroom. Yeah, and he just he shat all over the bowl... He lid. exclusively shat everywhere but where you're supposed to shit. 
<laughs> and then okay. and then he and then he didn't even wipe. He just put on his pants and left. <laughs> That's and what happens. And then and then when he, he maybe went he had a place to go. <laughs> what? He had things to do. <laughs> yeah, he had the podcast to record. Oh. And then uh, and then Pantelis, after the pod ends, this this is like an hour and a half later. After the pod ends, this the Pantelis goes into the bathroom, and he sees this, and then uh, he he comes back. He says, "Dude, just please go look at what happened at the bathroom." And then Adam starts freaking out. No, no, no! Don't go! Don't go! It's okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened. So I go anyways. It was a horror show. Did he do this? Because he was like, it's like a rest area now. <laughs> All we need is a hole in this wall, <laughs> and I'll be in heaven. It was rough. What and happened dude, in there was it looked like a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, there was like shit everywhere. And I'm did like, you make him clean it up? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hundred percent. That, uh, that might be part of his kink. Like, he oh. might be, oh, daddy is telling me to wipe this shit oh. up. Maybe. Yeah. But, but uh, I, got really, I got really pissed off, so I, I had him go clean it. And then I kicked all of his uh, belongings out of the studio. Do you think, like, since you're mean to him, do you think that he jerks off thinking about you being mean to him? Pro- that pro- could be. That could be, the, that could be his thing. Probably. Yeah, the, yeah. The day outside the studio. You're like, a big, scary sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what to do, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> the, the day- ah, ah. yeah, go clean the shit up. I, I, Captain. <laughs> Today, outside the studio, it was re- he was really uh, condescending with me. He goes, uh, you know, if I could give you a word of advice, and I, I, don't, I forgot completely what he said, and uh, and I go. <laughs> He was like, if I could give you a word of advice, you shouldn't dress like this at funerals. Besides, <laughs> like, you don't condescend to me. Yeah, then, you don't remember what he said. For I don't remember. Real? It was something about like n- being nicer to him or whatever. Okay. But he behaves the way that he behaves, so I have a hard time being nice to him. You both. This is why I feel like someone's playing a prank on me because I remember a few weeks ago, Poseidon. I told him, Poseidon, please help him get a job. He needs a job. So Poseidon's like, ah, oh, I'll call one of my friends. He could get a job at a grocery store stocking shelves. And I'm watching this Poseidon on the phone trying to convince someone to hire Adam. And Adam, like a little kid, <laughs> snags him in, and he goes, Poseidon's like, look. Just so you know, he's severely retarded. And then Adam's like, hey, slightly retarded. <laughs> and I'm watching this. I was like, that's not the defense. That's not the defense. Like, it's crazy. What's happening? You know how crazy it is that he can't find it? There's a fucking labor shortage. Like, he should be able to. You it's go into any fucking Tim Hortons, you can get a job. Mike, you don't understand this stuff. So that's why whenever I see, because... Mike has, he's working, he has the tour going, he's got a lovely family. So every time I tell him these stories, I feel like I'm dragging him back to the open mic scene. Yeah. This is what I'm dealing God with. This damn, is my yeah. daily occurrence. It's nuts. That is pretty noble, though. Like, to say, no, listen, I'm self-aware. Just, just a touch, a touch of the downs. Yeah. Anyone else would have been like, hey, hey, he's jo- I'm not retarded. He's like, hey, whoa, hold on a second. Just a, a little, little bit. bit. <laughs> I'm a little Let's not get too crazy. I yeah, mean, it's crazy. You see, you see this. And then, yeah, obviously, he didn't get the job. Obviously. Yeah, yeah you didn't really want to get him the job, did you? No, you just I wanted really, to scream yeah, you, at a man why, about why how he was severely you retarded. Hold your on, friend. Hey, I have a guy. He's retarded. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, the only no, person no, that's willing no, to hire no, people no, that are no, retards who no. knows that they're retards is Pantelis. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because you know these grocery <laughs> stores. Grocery stores have these like diversity hires, but for like you know, you see that was your angle. Let's get it. Like, no, but it's right. like you see him in commercials all the time. He's a gay, yeah. Jewish, yeah. retarded pedophile. That checks like four no, boxes. You see it? No. How you, can you refuse this? I mean, yeah. honestly, <laughs> good he could be running for Congress. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, see him, you see him in woke commercials. You know what I mean? Those commercials, they hire the guy with a Down syndrome. So you saw all the problems with him. And you're like, he's basically a black woman on a commercial. That's what you thought? No, because you'll see commercials where they're like, Oh, a hire, and the, they say how they're happy and shit. You know the, the dudes with the Down syndrome? He doesn't have Down syndrome. Look, he's, he's creepy. He's, he's close. Yeah, he's, he's close, just, bro. He's, he's just very, creepy. He's very close. He's just, he's, he's he's a, just as horny as a guy with Down syndrome. He's a he's sad Down syndrome guy. He's like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, like it's weird. Because, like, anyway, Yeah, he's whatever. just creepy. He's not, he doesn't have Down syndrome. He's like slope syndrome. Yeah. Like he's, it's yeah, a little. He's, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, it's an so, incline. so I see grocery stores, like they always advertise, like, well, hire people with Down syndrome. They advertise? Where do they advertise this? I don't know. I've seen commercials. I've never se- You've seen I commercials think, on I think TV those are going, hey. There's never ago. been, there's never been a help wanted sign with an asterisk. Yeah. I think, <laughs> help I think, I think you're getting ilk. And plus, he's saying, I've seen commercials. Yeah. So he sees commercials yeah. on CTV going, come Are to Provigo. Yeah. Hey, if you got a retard, we'll take him. <laughs> Do you have 24 chromosomes? Yeah. Do we have the job for you? I think you're Step getting right targeted up. ads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be it. I would, love to get, uh, I would love to get Adam in a room with like Joe Biden if he was still running for office just to get him to fully break his brain. Oh, dude, it is. Oh, it shit. is wild. Imagine just uh, we can actually probably use a guy like Adam to like just I don't know. We should just unleash him on terrorists in a in a questioning, <laughs> in a questioning he, period. You know, if we're interrogating fucking I don't know. He has a Al-Qaeda. rivalry with Poseidon. They have a rivalry going him Poseidon, and he always Let's tries. See who's more deficient? He wants to one up. Pos- he wants to prove that he's better than Poseidon. That Poseidon's full of shit. So he uses weird logic. Like recently, Poseidon was like, "Oh shit." How can imagine that? I'm sorry to cut you off, but imagine. Uh, a guy that can't get a job stocking a shelf in a grocery store wanting to prove to you that he's better than you. That's so fucking insulting. Today, this morning, we start the show and he's like, but he was mad. Poseidon was mad because he was trying to get a car and he thought he got ripped off. He's like, I don't want to do it. They might rip me off. And he goes, ha ha, the tables have turned. <laughs> Looks like you're a hypocrite. And then Poseidon's like, what? A hypocrite? I don't think you're using that word right. He's like, yes, I am. Because you said, I'm stupid because I was ripped off and tricked. But you're a hypocrite because you're stupid and you were ripped off and tricked. <laughs> and then I'm trying to explain to them what a hypocrite means. That's not a hypocrite. They're just two people and, that got... <laughs> none of them knew well, what it was. It actually kind of is. Uh, hey, uh, you're calling me stupid. You're a hypocrite. You're fucking dumb as shit. That, that's kind of what he's saying. I would take it as an affront as well. First of all, I, Poseidon I, took it as an affront. Poseidon got dude, really mad. Dude, I, would, I get it, man. The guy, I didn't like, even the know there drinks. was a rivalry between me and him. Like, I was never rivaling with anything for him. He's your, yeah. He's he, your, he, for some reason, wants to be rivalrous with He is your me. Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> You're Biggie, he's Tupac. I know, but I, I want to I wanna actually peel some layers back here so people can understand who Adam is. Because if you yeah, p- yeah, hung yeah. around him, just you discover more and more crazy shit. Mike, you're not aware of this. He drinks hot chocolate. Okay. Like, as a, like a, you get a coffee order for everyone. At everyone gets coffee. Adam gets hot chocolate. At the Imagine a guy who drinks hot chocolate yeah. thinking that you're on the same playing field as you and we're in a competition. That would piss you off. I get it. But in his defense, Dude, the weather outside was frightful and the fire, it was so delightful. But if a man who drank hot chocolate thought he could fucking, I don't know, do anything better than me, I'd be furious. Except I just want to s- prove. But I'm not furious him about him. it. Except he, for skiing. He, yeah, he could be yeah. better at skiing. Yeah, why, why skiing? No, he uh, hot chocolate seems like a ski thing. Like once you're done <laughs> yeah. skiing, a hot chocolate seems better in the coffee. He, but but he, you also get mad at him for like anything. Cause he'll like, piss me off in the moment. I throw but I Adam over the it. fucking ski. Would he? He'll piss me off in the moment, but I don't think about it after. No, but in the moment he get, you know Poseidon yells about this is on the show too. He, they're talking, they're having a podcast, and Poseidon just breaks. He's like. You're disgusting! <laughs> and he's like, he's like, what? And he goes, your fucking nose hairs! They're so big, they're on the top of your lip! And he's just screaming. <laughs> and then Poseidon's like, Ugh. Ugh. he's about to dry him. <laughs> it's crazy. So that's my life. Uh. And so you're buying a new car? Uh, well, yeah, 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 I guess. Okay. Yeah, you guess. Yeah, I'm, bu- I'm buying it. Yeah, I'm buying Why'd it. Why'd you say it so weirdly? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's don't playing know. it cool. He <laughs> thinks I'm, I'm the salesman and I'm going to up the price. I'm not no, that no, interested. No. <laughs> so what are you buying? I don't know because I, I was, uh, I, was uh, I don't know, put on the spot, so I wasn't expecting it. Uh, uh, a Dodge Charger. You put okay. him on the spot with your hard-hitting questions. <laughs> yeah. What car are you looking to drive? <laughs> We're talking about sucking dick, smoking crack. Guido's going to go to jail. He's like, that's fine. And then he's like, so you're buying a car. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. Easy, but there's, there's a line. What the fuck? What are you, yeah. Revenue Quebec? What are you asking ha- me? Have you yeah. no decency? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're buying a car? No comment. <laughs> Allegedly. I, I plead the fifth. But yeah, I'm actually, uh, yeah, I'm picking up Friday. You're I'm buying excited. a police car? Uh... One that looks, yeah, I guess. I, yeah, why, but why you got to call it like that? See, this is why I don't like bringing shit up. You, why you got to call it like that, a police car? It makes He's me look like... He's buying the same car police... Yeah. I was asked so people could hate him on the road. <laughs> <laughs> they do move out of the way, though. You know why he got it? How come? He's like, I too hate the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> 
What, what color is it? Oh uh, sorry? What color is the car? Oh, yo, the paint is kind of crazy, actually. It's like this weird paint. It, like, turns black, blue, and purple. Okay. Like your same. victims. <laughs> 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 and, like, it's got, like, flakes in it. It's, it's really dope. I, okay. I, I, was like, I was like, shit, yeah. This what is year? What year? 19, 19. Okay. Just the way he likes them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's legal, your honor. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I didn't yeah, and Adam crime. is like, I wanted a 14. <laughs> <laughs> Again, apart from, I don't think he's dangerous to kids. I just think, also, don't you remember? I do. I don't think so, because even when he was with a prostitute, it, uh, he couldn't do anything. Yeah, okay. but she wasn't a child. But she, and she was a lady. She was a grown woman, yeah. She was a lady. <laughs> she was a grown-up lady. Yeah. That's like if someone told you, I'm very hungry, and you were like, here's a, a glass of water. But I remember her telling everyone, she's like, look, I tried my best to have sex with this guy, but he just jerked off in a condom. <laughs> and then after he came, he tried to have sex with me with a flaccid penis. Uh -huh. <laughs> she told you this. Yeah. You decided to reach out to the hooker after the fact to get she, a Because it was in Guido's house after. So we were, we were on the oh, roof. Is in Guido's Sam house? No. Yeah. Guido's house? Yeah. Sam oh my, doesn't know this story. Guido doesn't stand a chance, in, inform, dude. Inform our buddy Sam. Okay, so yeah. Sammy, uh, so we were, uh, we were filming a sketch at Guido's re old restaurant. With the next guest for the next show, actually. He's gonna, the guest and is gonna uh, yeah. every time you say uh, something, just say your name first. It'll be easier in court yeah. <laughs> when they read it. <laughs> okay. What's your legal name? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened was... Well, really, okay, before you continue, just what Adam told me. So we're there, it's me. I've never met Adam. This is the first time meeting Adam. It was a few years ago. He's sitting in front of me. Everyone else is about as far as you guys are. That's how far. So you can hear everything. He's looking at me. He's like, look, I want to tell you something. I never met him before. Between you and me. <laughs> and I was like, you know everyone else can hear you. He's like, no, 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 no. This is between you and me. I was like, yeah, but that's not a magic phrase. They're going to hear it. <laughs> he thought it was like, look, off yeah, the yeah. record. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I go, okay. You're on TV. He off does the this record. other thing where he says, don't quote me on this. I think this happened. <laughs> and then two minutes later, he just reverts his statement. <laughs> don't, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. So he tells me this, and I go, look, I don't know what you want to tell me. You can, but I guarantee you, everyone else can hear you. And he's I, like, no, between you and me. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. But I've never had sex. And I was like, everyone could believe that. Everyone that's sitting here yeah. believes that 100%, you know? So then the argument came of getting him laid, getting him laid. So Poseidon went on one of his adventurous websites. Yeah, so we went on a hunt to find this man, a uh, prostitute. And the initial one that I had found, um, like we had decided not to. We had decided on another one. Hold on, let, let me... I'm what, trying to... What, I'm, what are you... You're looking... No, I'm trying to remember where, where the story started. The story started from where I said, okay. and then yeah, Guido the offered it up. Guido said, if he really wants to uh, uh, lose his virginity, I'll offer him my condo, which we said yes, yes, disgusting, yes, disgusting, but okay. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so Guido had a condo at the he had time. A condo, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, and we're like and uh, a heart of gold. Yeah. You see, he had a condo. He's a responsible adult. Was you know? the child sleeping <laughs> <laughs> in one of the rooms, and then Adam moved him over and tried to bang that whore? <laughs> Next to this poor babies. So then, so then I got the bright idea of getting him a prostitute, and then we we go to Guido's place. To be fair, that's Poseidon's answer for everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You tell me like, I have cancer, like I'm gonna get yeah. you a prostitute. The stock market crash. <laughs> yeah. Get a hooker. <laughs> like, yeah. Stock market's doing well. Get a hooker. Yeah. yeah my my yeah. left arm is numb and I have chest pains. I'll get you a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you You're know, so you, they got some blood flow uh, uh, going. So You're good. Poseidon's, Poseidon's friend comes over with via the Uber. And then I, because I'm the only responsible adult, I go, listen, you have to understand something. You're going to go into this room. We're not fucking with you. This, you're not getting a beating. It's nothing like that. There's just, he's an adult oh, man. Oh, yeah, because this poor lady Wait, showed yeah, yeah. up. You got to mention the preparation. Guys. Yeah, yeah, I had to mentally prepare. I go, look, yeah. I know this is your, uh, there's nothing weird going to happen. Just that we're leaving. We're going to go upstairs. We don't want anything to do with this. But. The man has never had sex. He's a fucking weirdo. You might not even. You might talk to him for one hour. He just likes to talk. I don't even think he could get erections. That's what I told her. Uh, if you feel unsafe, uncomfortable, whatever, just fucking leave. And uh, Poseidon's gonna pay you. Don't you fucking worry. This is all going down in Guido's condo. This is going down outside the condo. I was talking to him in the hallway because oh, okay, okay. I didn't want to be there. Okay. Uh, so then. But I, it's off the record. It's off yeah. the record. So right. they can't use this in court. Yeah. Off the record. So then she's like, okay, and then. They go in the she goes in the room and she finds Adam who was wearing a bathrobe, 
Uh, just about. <laughs> I don't even. So he took Guido's bathrobe. <laughs> so we're we're upstairs on the rooftop. This is like five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And they were there for a while until the phone rings and she's like, "I have a situation. Come down." Well, she's freaking out about something. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then I'm like, "Oh fuck!" He fucking attacked the hooker. Like I I don't know the guy. I just yeah. met him. But he did not attack her. She actually loved him. She said, "If you know any more people like this, I left to have sex with them." Because they didn't have sex. She he was scared, so he jerked off in a condom. And then Which is what you do when you're afraid. When you're <laughs> 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 We've all been there. <laughs> and then she said that he he got <laughs> confident after coming. So he jerked off and then he held it yeah. like it was a garbage bag. Nothing yeah, would yeah, not yeah, make yeah, sense. Yeah. Like, I don't understand and then, that. And then here's the thing. She said he got Did courageous. Did he put it in, in no, the condom no, and jerked no, no, no. off? Or he, he jerked off and held the condom. He jerked off and held the condom. Nothing but that. then he got <laughs> courageous. <laughs> she said he got courageous. He's like, now that I've come... I would like to oh, yeah. try to have sex. Now with you. that I practice. So now, uh, so she said he was trying for one hour to put his flaccid penis inside her, oh, but Jesus. it wasn't going. Fucking and Christ. she was giving him. She was like, "Yo, like, go ahead. Like, I'll try. I think you should." She goes, "So technically, your friend is still a virgin." And I laughed. And I said, "He's not my friend." Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know this guy. I just met him today, and that's the guy that ordered you. I'm literally the interpreter. That's all I am. I'm in, I'm the interpreter between two retarded people. But in the, in the meantime, I I thought it would be funny to order two prostitutes to Guido's place. Yeah, this okay. isn't good. That was not a good idea. And I I thought it would be well, funny. Who is the second one for? Uh, for for Adam as well. I thought it would be funny to have them compete for Adam. Okay. And he like, lives in a comic book. And the loser gets Adam. <laughs> is that? I what guess, the competition I guess, is? I guess, okay. or like, or like they get like a ten percent tip or whatever. I don't fucking know. Ten percent tip. Like I, I hadn't thought God it through. Damn. I thought, I hadn't thought it a through. A ten percent tip. I just, I just. <laughs> God damn, mm-hmm. that's cheap. I just thought it would be funny. Fuck, bro. So now he. You're supposed to tip hookers. He this. hasn't warned me about any of this. So now I'm. Uh, this is the thing. Me, I'm stupid because I feel bad for all these fucking people. So I'm like, I thought that the thing you're supposed to do. I don't know how you're supposed to treat a hooker. So it's like, okay, go downstairs, make sure she gets into her Uber. Isn't that like what normally you would do so she doesn't get kidnapped or some shit? But while that happens, another hooker shows up with her pimp, and I have Poseidon's cell phone, and they're calling it, and I'm picking. So he stood her up, the second one, but they think I'm Poseidon, so he's sending me messages on his phone. He's like, I can fucking see you out there. Like, I fucking see you. Stop ignoring me. I'm looking. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is this guy mad? And then the hooker comes like, why is this hooker mad? Like, the other hooker. And the other hooker's like, thank you. If you have any other retarded friends, I'll take him. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I'm not a pimp for retards. I'm trying to make sure you don't get kidnapped. And then the other hooker's ringing the doorbell. But the doorbell at the time, it goes to your phone. But it was going to Guido's ex-girlfriend, his okay. ex-fiance. Okay. The, the woman he's in court with. Yeah. And so that he was, was, that was where so he was, that was where the shoe started So this to woman's getting woken up at 5 in the morning with saying, I'm a hooker. Where the fuck you ordered me? And yeah. I'm outside the building. The pimp's like, I fucking see you. You don't waste my fucking time. And I'm like, why am I in the middle of this? Why am I in the, I should just let the hooker leave by herself. And Pimp's I was watching everything laughing. You know what's fucked up? I hear this story and I think about Guido and his ex. And if they can't make it, then <laughs> how can anyone else make it? What a beautiful love, love story. <laughs> love is dead. <laughs> Dude, Pimps for Retards is a hell of a charity name. Yeah. Yeah. She thought, she goes, do you have any other friends that, that have yeah. the same... Pimps for Retards. She told me a friend, she goes, do you have other similar people that have this problem? I'll work with you. She thought I was like a pimp. <laughs> like a social worker. Yeah. He's the best customer, though. Imagine, because she didn't have sex, nope. and she got paid. Yep. But nothing about Adam makes sense. Like, he defies every law of physics and logic. Like He came, ejaculated, and thought, now's time to fuck a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> Like, if anything, the last thing you want to do after coming is, you know, doing that. You're just ashamed, and mm. I don't know. He's like, oh, now's and time to get the, down to yeah. business. Oh and God. that's a lot of shame. Jerking off in a condom. I've never jerked of a off in and a condom. And being proud of it after in, the fact. Of front, saying, yeah. oh, like, you fucking put on a Superman I'm a real that. man. But, <laughs> yeah, I've never jerked off in a condom in front of someone, and, but I'd probably feel shame. Brag. Yeah. Oh my God, Sam! Where are these lovely people gonna get to see you? Uh, where are they gonna get to see me? Yeah, uh, I, per- I perform in English, so they'll probably never see me anywhere. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm on the internet, so maybe uh, I'll bring you here at the next English show. Uh, I believe it's September 13th or 10th, Tuesday night. Sure. I'll put you on the lineup, and then you can show them what you're all about. Sounds good. Yeah? All right. Okay, Appreciate very good. I'll put you there. Thanks Sam Adamo online, MikeWard.ca for Mike Ward's website. As if you weren't aware. Mike Ward Modest, the uh, biggest show happening in Quebec right now. Tickets are just flying. I keep seeing ads for your stuff. Uh, are you going to get a little plaque again? Uh, yeah, we're we're uh, getting the 100,000 
a ticket back in a couple of weeks. Very modest. Very yeah. modest. Yeah. yeah. There's a giant bust of his head yeah. on stage. It's amazing. <laughs> so it's, that's all right. It's the best. So MikeWord.ca for tickets. Patreon.com slash Suzekut for the number one French language comedy podcast on the planet. Mike Ward Suzekut. Uh, Sam, you got your own podcast, The Bordello? The Bordello, yes, on YouTube. Uh, and you're podcasts. in The Bordello. So yes, fucking yeah, makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Pantel's comedy for all of my stuff and for the intellectuals. Thank you all, and go fuck yourselves. Yeah.